Lesson 11.2 is evaluating functions. That just means plugging in numbers and getting an answer. So number one is not tricky. It just has fractions in it. You can choose to do it on a calculator or by hand. They're wanting us to find f of negative 6. So all that means is I'm going to replace x with negative 6. Okay, so again, you could do it on a calculator if you want. I'm going to put the 6 over 1. I'm going to cross simplify by dividing out a 3. So that would be negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 over 1 is negative 8 plus 5 sevenths. And then this is over 1. To make it have a common denominator of 7, I would have to take negative 8 times 7, which is negative 56 sevenths plus 5 sevenths. Negative 56 plus 5 would be negative 51 sevenths. I know we've struggled with fractions, so if that is difficult for you, you can just do it on a calculator. All right, number two, fractions and then x is being cubed. So we would find f of negative two-thirds, two plus three halves times negative two-thirds cubed. Uh, remember from order of operations, PEMDAS, you always want to do um, not only parentheses, but more importantly exponents before you do multiplication. So what this says is take three halves times whatever you get for the answer of negative two-thirds cubed. When you are multiplying this, this is really just going to be a negative 2 times a negative 2 times a negative 2 straight across. And 3 times 3 times 3. It's just this fraction times itself three times like this. And so really I just think negative 2 to the third power would be a negative 8. 3 to the third power is 27 times 3 halves. <clears throat> and that's plus 2. So I would cross simplify, that would be a 1, 27 divided by 3 is 9, divide out a 2, would be a negative 4, so it would be 2 plus negative or 2 minus 4 ninths, and then 2 over 1, if I made that something over 9, I would have to multiply the 2 by 9 to be 18 ninths minus 4 ninths is 14 ninths. So again, calculator if you didn't understand that. Number three, now I'm just plugging in an expression with x. So this negative 3x is going to go in every time I see an x. And then all I can do is simplify. So f of negative 3x would be 5 times negative 3x minus 3 times negative 3x squared. 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x. Again, I want to do my exponent before I do multiplication. So negative 3 squared, because this is going to be negative 3x times negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and then it would be x squared. So each part gets the squared. And then I would do multiplication. That would be negative 27x squared. You can choose to rewrite this, so the biggest exponents first, or just leave it take it either way. And that's it because I don't have any more like terms. All right, number four. Notice how this is a negative three times the entire f of x function. And so it's like replacing f of x with what f of x equals. So all I'm doing is taking negative three times this entire function. So that would distribute to become three minus 15x. And then number five, kind of the same thing where you have your normal function and then you're just adding two at the end. So I'm going to take my normal function, add two at the end. And it's simply combining like terms. So it would be negative 2x squared plus 5. And then the last one, this is inside with x. So right here I'm going to have to put in x plus 2 and I'll have to square it. Put your minus sign first, then your x plus 2 squared. This is like a negative 1 being multiplied, but make sure you're doing this first. So the trick to do this in your head is really um, squaring the first part, so x squared is x squared. Then you're multiplying 2 times x gets 2x, well then you double it to get 4x. 2 squared is 4. That's the way I do it without writing it out like this. 
but of course you always can if you still need to it'll get the same thing but then all of that needs to get this negative 1 distributed to it okay I do not want to do negative 6 minus 1 because this is multiplication coming before the subtraction so if I distribute a negative 1 that changes the sign of everything and then I just combine my like terms so I'm gonna put the negative x squared first minus 4x minus 10 would be my final answer and that's how you evaluate functions